Hi everyone, uh, this is Rohit here. You've seen me in so many of Ryan Real videos. You might have gotten to know about Rana Deer sir, who has been the mentor of IIR Rank 2 Animesh Pradhan this year. Animesh has spoken so evocatively about Rana Deer and uh, sir. And we thought of getting him to a webinar with you, specifically the working Janta who is going to appear in 2025 and who plans to crack the exam in the very first attempt. And we'll have a webinar coming Friday, very short notice, but we wanted to get this thing through you very fast. And in this small chat, which is a pre-webinar chat, I want to set the contours of our chat ready for you, right? So, Tanadi, sir, we'll quickly talk about the trajectory of Animesh, which you will explain in detail in the webinar video. I'll start with the quote that you often use with, in all your orientation sessions, uh, you know, whenever a student gets assigned to you and you say that I am your father, I am your mother, and I am your sister, and I am your brother, and anything which you hold dear from this day on till the day you clear exam. And that I agree breaks the ice. Uh, a huge component of your mentorship is around intangible aspects, mental health, everything which relate to the exam preparation, as well as the objective side of assigning the right targets and then making them clear. Give me a sense of that when Animesh came to you uh, about one and a half years back, he was in the job at IOCL. How did you, your recollections, right? What were your recollections of him as a student on day one? What were some of those milestones of his growth, which you realized that, you know, this will make or break this guy. So I have to give extra attention or now he's on the path. So let me chill out and give him some space. You know, all the things which a good mentor does and all the thing which our system, you know, kind of enables for a working janta. So give me a sense of an image trajectory and via his example, how do we go about mentoring? Well, thank you so much for inviting me. I'll tell you about Animesh. See, what happens is, I think, if I'm right correctly, Animesh came to be uh, 2022 uh, February. 6th, if I'm present, 6th of February, 2022. And I'm supposed to take his orientation in the evening, 6 o'clock, because he's a working professor, so he will take evening. One to two, I was in office that day, so I couldn't take a session. I said, I'll take at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, I couldn't take a session. I again messaged him that I'll take at 9, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock also, he said, fine. And I felt very bad. I said 9.30 for sure, no matter what we'll discuss. We have our test session. And generally, I never postponed these orientations. But when I spoke to him, first thing I told him is, I'm so sorry. I said, sir, it's okay, no problem. And he was very happy to talk to me about orientation. So that hit me that this person is not getting frustrated if I postpone the orientation in the first day itself. And it's not the case with many people, actually. That mm -hmm. hit the True. first call to me that this person is somewhat different from other people. That's the first thing which I observed in Animesh. Second thing, uh, we used to have this weekly calls, right? In Sinizeli, we used to have weekly calls of mentorship, right? So after first week, he did everything, whatever I said, despite being in this thing. So like this, I thought, it's okay, fine, it's fresh blood, so it might be doing the first week. It's continuously four or five weeks, whatever I said, he did it. And that's okay. all time. So, Till that time, no one has ever done that in my under my mentorship. I was calling and all the stuff. It's a rare like thing. It's a rare thing. So then I understood that yes, this person has the perseverance and commitment to do all those things along with discipline and education. So then I told him one thing that do at least 35 to 40 samachar mantans regularly, you can clear mates. And right from the, that day, continuously he wrote on my So then I understood that okay, if I say something. He's doing it. So this is what he's make. And in the same year in October, he called me once. I was in market. I was not in office at the market. And he called me. And literally he was crying. like. And that's the first time he opened up to me. So it took almost uh, 10 minus 2, like 9 months, nine, 8 to 9 months. He took to open up with me about. And then he said all these things that, sir, I'm uh, unable to study properly because Philips. His mains was good because of Samachar and all this practice, water practice in his mains was good. His Philips was being problem actually. So in October month of 2022, he called me. Then after one or two calls, uh, whatever is, that's what I'm saying. The beauty of animation is whatever you say, he takes them, implements them, and will inform you that what, how, what improvement he has seen in that. And that's what we can say that this person can make it. Okay. And the break option is always, you know, his strength and weakness is both his mother. And sometimes uh, even I also use that emotion also. 
in his favor actually sometimes even it gets very very low and that is the actual mother ambition and uh, you know, seeing you as an officer it was his mother's ambition to see him as an officer yes yes so i used to use that uh, for him and definitely used to get motivated and like any sports because i remember before mains just before like 15 days before mains start his mother was in a very serious condition actually so. and mm. uh, he called me sir sir i'm i'm able to prepare for this mains i don't know whether i can write it or not write mains or not Mm. So this means this one very good time to yeah the first mate whatever first mate he has done just before fifteen days of mate he called me and said sir I don't know whether I can write mate sir was mass condition is very serious mm. then we spoke I think for twenty twenty five minutes half an hour and then again he started continuing that's that's an amazing thing actually you mentioned over phone like when we were discussing you you mentioned no that his sister's wedding and he had to take a few days off. Yeah. and he wanted to plan his studies around that now that's also a very rare thing that i've seen uh, people yes. do and he wanted you to make a timetable for him around that so that he doesn't yeah. lacks on his so, studies correct because he want to attend his this is where it's compulsory so when it is unavoidable but he also want to sp- uh, study whatever they have studied the seven days he managed to do manual before or after it and so that's So that's just flexibility for a mentor also to guide whatever the lady wants. So we can also experiment on those people like that. Uh, so that's yeah, just a free hand for him. And w- what were the constraints as a working professional that he faced, which he opened up about you? I get we all know his personal life constraints and the challenges, but what were the working life challenges which you helped him navigate? Yeah, that he told in the first session itself. Uh, the two most important problems are time and flow. For example, uh, generally what we say is sit for four two hours, three hours, four hours. Like this, he couldn't sit for two hours because always there is work coming in there. And for example, if I uh, ask him to stretch for like eight hours, I can't say that to stretch for eight hours. At the max, he can give is five to six hours. And uh, one thing I know for sure is at least four hours every day he gave without any thing break. And that's one mistake which you pay the aspirants to. Once belief is done and the the result is negative, then for six months they keep no neglecting this. And from February January onwards they can start to believe. It's not like that. Right from the February sixth onwards uh, till his mains, at least four hours is about minimum he gave, no matter what. In, either he was reading on plane or train or vehicle or brake, doesn't matter. Even in, in when I was in his office, he asked me, sir, when to read newspaper and stuff. I said in your office you can't take books because it's a PSU and you don't want to close them that is paper by UPS. So I said okay yeah. fine in in office you read newspaper. No one will get doubt on whether you are reading newspaper. So he prepared current affairs during office hours, office breaks. Hardly one hour lunch break. So fifteen minutes he used to read, I guess, and forty five minutes he used to study uh, current affairs. So Amazon so, Mandal so, studied like that only. Yeah, he mentioned that in the office yesterday. So on Friday at seven pm when we meet. And I'll be hosting you again. Uh, we we'll we'll see the comments if we get any comments on the YouTube video where people specifically want to talk about something. But if it's general, then we would it would be good if we can take people sequentially through the phases of growth, right? You know how to make sure your foundation is right, advanced, and then you know you are in that Zen mode and you kill the UPSC main, then off you go, right? That's part one. Part two, we want to give a very generic. Uh, Blue, uh, blueprint for the working professionals who cannot leave their jobs and who have as much grueling life as Animesh had, to give a sense of how do you plan your mornings and your evenings better, uh, and what are some of those checks and balances that you need to have in your system. Okay, I mean that you can keep studying, and you can keep studying, but you know you need to have some of the checks which tell you that okay, I'm getting on the aspirant zone or not, or I'm just on a researcher zone. Okay, and thirdly and very very importantly, uh, I mean. I would love to have you know a Roy and Real with Animesh very soon, and then you know we'll sit together to see what really makes or break the spirit of an aspirant. Uh, you know, external things which are not in our control, internal things which is about UPSC. You know, ki agar day one pick working professional enter karta UPSC preparation mein, how does it become tough and tougher? What are the things that you need to do to make it easy? या कुछ चीजें जो नहीं कर सकते हैव टू बी कंसिस्टेंट फ्रॉम वट आई गैदर इट्स मोर लाइक कंसिस्टेंसी विद अनिमेश विच वर्क राइट सो सम ऑफ दोज थिंग्स विच काइंड ऑफ हेल्प हिम कीप इन द गुड सीट सो लेट्स प्रिपेयर समथिंग लाइक दिस फॉर द फॉर द फ्राइडे फर्स्ट थिंग 
the first thing Second is about is phase wise. no first is phase wise if a working professional comes what are the phase wise you know how does he actually grow phase wise so first phase is ncrt then pyq then then the second phase okay. is reference book ko tight karna and third phase is on your writing ya beech beech mein kaise ghusne right like so that you know the whole one year is like tagged and planned and in advance it's not something surprising ki acha i miss my optional or whatever i miss answer writing etc etc nothing that's a plan then i need a plan for working professional who want to yeah, generic plan generic plan if they if they're not able to join our mentoring it's okay completely fine if they join the mentoring they will anyway get a person experience but if they're not able to what are the best things that they can do and third and most important is the mental health angle right and nimesh has been like you know very forthcoming in talking about that these are my struggles this is how i handled it and that's how we should do it right it's a great moment in history for civil delhi and for upsc that rank 2 with all the challenges that he faced has not only you know gotten the rank but has also been like take a professional help have some frameworks get past that and you're one of the guys who kind of was there to see it through so any anecdote which you remember you know on friday would be helpful as a matter of storytelling right so aise plan karenge and then we meet on friday uh if we get to have some excel which kind of give the broad schema ki ye kiya tha wagera wagera it would be great varna we'll just play it on the fly and then one day you know we would up a view animation me doing the raw and real uh and just chatting the whole journey out very simple no academic just pure aspirant life cycle from point a to rank 2 that simple right to apan ye karte hain and hopefully this year every every aspirant who's preparing and who has any issue for that matter this feels absolute safe when he comes to us and talk about it if an image took 9 months to open i think everyone should open on the orientation call that should be like our aim just open up tell us what are what haunts you tell us your demons and you know we'll make sure that the course works around that or at least the mentors are aware you know ki ye sab hoga anything else which you think we should cover on the webinar oh this is up because or Mainly, objective is to look at the health and subjective part, right? This is sufficient. Like otherwise, uh, for so like initial first for two or three minutes, we can touch about objective part, and we can say that objective part is necessary, but without this intangible, intangible things, that will have lots of effect actually. So by that, we can prove ah, so, this thing actually. Correct. So, so non-negotiables in terms of objective realities, you have to complete this much. You have correct. to make sure these books are done. Uh, a plan. Because without plan, you just have you know. Oh, these are my goals. You can ask me a question. Objective and subjective is both there. So why do we think subjective is more something like that? Then I can explain about objective, and then I move to subjective for that also. That also perfect. Fine. Perfect. Because, we'll, because you know, otherwise we are focusing more on subjective only. No, 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 no. We'll 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 do it very organically, and we'll let the you know webinars are like best place to have a very free flowing conversation, right? So this is a pre webinar recording. It says. The people on YouTube would be watching this as it is, right? And if anyone so has comment, because be this live, is live, 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 live webinar, not recording. It will be live Zoom webinar. Okay. It would be live oh. Zoom webinar. You know, that's how it would be. Cool. Eh? So we'll see everyone. I'll publish this as it is. This is as raw, you know, a pre-webinar recording as it can get. Uh, if you have any specific comments about Animesh's journey, drop in here. Uh, Ranjit Sir will take all the question in his own way. He will summarize them. He'll kind of try to put it in a story like manner, and will relate to you. You'll love it, and you'll remember most of it. Uh, then very soon we'll request Animesh to come. Ranjit, Animesh, and me will chat out again. That would be a raw and real. We'll record it, or we'll try to have a webinar and we'll record and publish it again. But like for an exclusive community. Uh, but we'll do this. This is the year when you know we cracked our best rank. We cracked a rank completely online. A working professional who fought against all odds. I know you are like on the side of a more humble mentor, but like you know, take a moment to just you know have a pat on your back and like there's something we cracked here. There's something which we cracked, which all good rankers in the past have been speaking about that you know conquer the challenges and you know brave through it. No one was ranked again, again, again. Just see the light of the day, and we'll. This Friday we'll just open about from your angle, and then very soon we'll get Animesh to do it, you know, from his angle. Cool. So that's it, guys. Fill up the form, fill up your details. We'll send you the Zoom link, uh, and we'll see you soon on Friday, 7 p.m. This Friday. Cool. This is it. This is the cut. So, uh, upon ye karenge, Randi, we'll have objective realities, subjective anecdotes. Uh, 
विल मेक द प्लान मोटा मोटा बिकॉज वो ऑडियंस फिल्टर होके ही आएगी जो एड जिसको सही में जरूरत होती है ना मतलब इस लेवल के कनेक्ट की अब वो डे वन पे खुलेंगे बिकॉज दे नो इट वर्क राइट वट टूक लाइक फाइव मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स ताकि बी लाइक डे वन एंड वी विल चेंज अर ओरिएटेशन फॉर्म है ना आई वील काइंड ऑफ सी इफ यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस सम क्वेश्चन विच कैन प्रीएम टू पीपल नॉट लीडिंग क्वेश्चन बट विच कैन प्रीएम टू पीपल बिकॉज दैट इज द थिंग वर्णा तूने बोला ना कि तेरे को तीन चार वो लगते हैं सेशन लगते हैं मिनिमम तो कुछ कुछ लीडिंग क्वेश्चन जो होंगे क्यों करना चाहते हो वगैरह वगैरह राइट अगर कोई बोल दे की माँ की वजह से या कोई फैमिली में सिंपल इनोसेंस इफ यू कैन कैप्चर द इनोसेंस Uh, why do you want to be there and all this stuff? I want to enter into their mind actually. That's what my objective is there. Because that's how we can guide them properly. That's what I feel. Okay. Up, up, up. Usme kuch nahi. If I'm unable to know, understand the person, I'm saying same. Okay. 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 Okay.